I have prepared a concise list of symptoms that may help you to identify if you are indeed a self Hey teacher, welcome back to my video. So today I'm going to be doing something that I've never thought of doing. I recently, okay not recently like just today, I happened to saw this guy YouTube, um, it's called Sneaky Sushi. It says XMM have gone too far. I think I'm under the XMM category and I thought like I should watch this video and probably react to it I don't know what have we gone too far right? so I managed to um, change the lighting a little and yeah now my face looks more shinier let's start the video <laughs> We just did a TikTok recently, right? <laughs> oh my god! You see them loitering in arcades next to their dumbass racing car game. <laughs> Do you know that? SNM is an abbreviation of Xiao Mei Mei, which in Chinese is Xiao Mei Mei. Often for little girls. And always date someone older than her. Almost every girl dates someone older than her because. You know, you don't want to date a guy that's younger than you or at your age because they are much more immature in a sense. My perspective like The comments are often left by their psychic counterpart. And the reason I say they are, I have prepared a concise list of symptoms that may help you to identify if you are indeed a psychic. Right, number one, do you own more than five pairs of booty shorts? I'm pretty sure I own like literally more than five pairs of booty shorts. And this form of peacocking comes in various forms and is often coupled with the oversized tee. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oversized tees? I'm wearing them right now. Ow, ow, what is this? Oh. I'm literally wearing oversized tea like almost every single day at home. Number three, more than 80% of the songs on your playlist are Chinese EDMs or Man Yao songs. <laughs> I believe he does that too. Yeah, I also think so. Do you own a TikTok account with more than 2,000 followers? Nope, our TikTok account is literally. <laughs> Don't even talk about it. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Just search XMM and see how many videos pop up. Those, you know, just looking at the camera and adjusting your hair. How easy it is to be famous as a young girl. All you need to do is post a video of yourself in booty shots doing some TikTok dance. Bro, that's so wrong. If it's that easy, I will be high up in the sky watching all these selfies from on top. You're wrong. You are so wrong. Xiao Mei Mei's are immature, annoying, and a bit whiny, and often seem like sort of an airhead, aka stupid. Chola, 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 chola. I know I'm dumb, but at least I still pass my own level. Dating or explore feeds. What can we do? Don't use your phone, though. Xiao Mei Mei's are technically the alien. Are you an alien? Am I? I think I'm not an alien, la. I'm so like. I always like mm, wake up early in the morning to study <laughs> and just like cry every day over Korean drama. <laughs> I don't do this kind of like alien things, you know. Yeah. This is so long ago. Yes. Oh, this is my favorite song. Max 300. Hey, that's quite fast. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of his video. And if you want to eat, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh my god, I literally forgot what I just said. I think I'm also under the Xiao Mei Mei category, if that's the case. I think you are also under the Xiao Mei Mei category. You do TikToks, you wear shorts, oversized tees, and okay, apart from that, you don't sit on e scooter, lah, huh? But we do listen to So that's the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video And don't forget to like, subscribe And follow my Instagram Thanks, bye Meanwhile Comment below who is the Xiaomi Mei Mei
I'm in a mess. I'm in a mess. So? So? That's all. 